Hey everyone! In this video, I'm going to show you how to do a one color brioche knit stitch. I used to stay away from brioche stitch um, for a long time because I thought it was complicated and I was a little bit intimidated by it, but I've been working on, on the stitch recently and I've absolutely fallen in love with it. And so I'm so excited to show you how to do this stitch. Now, um, there is both a one color version and a two color version. In this video, I'm just going to cut cover the one color and then I'll have a different video next week for the two color version. Um, this stitch produces a fabric that looks um, very similar to a one is to one rib. So a one is to one rib fabric is would, would look something like this and again as you can see they're very similar except that um, in the in the brioche stitch the flexibility of the fabric is is really a lot more than you would get with a one is to one and also the the lines in between the the sort of the pearl rows are um, a little bit more complicated so they provide a little bit more of a, a, a complex look than just a, a one knit one pearl rib what I call the one is to one rib so it also provides a fabric that's that's you know squishy and it lays flat and best of all it's reversible so it looks the same on both sides and I have knit up a couple scarves here and you can see the difference by knitting just a single color um, I did this one using um, the 100% wool fisherman's wool lion brand yarns um, skein just one skein and I had a little bit left over um, this is an eight ounce skein that I just showed you and then this one here I knit with a, a line brand yarn scarfy yarn that's um, a five ounce skein or 5.3 ounce skein and it's actually a blend an acrylic wool blend and it's variegated so it gives this beautiful effect of um, changing colors even though it's just one color one yarn so let me show you how to do the one color brioche knit. So what I've done here is I've cast on a total of 13 stitches. Now for brioche knit you do need an odd number of stitches so I've cast on 13 stitches using the long tail cast on. Um, if you're not familiar with this technique I've provided the description or the pattern below or the, the link to the video below in the description field and I've also provided the brioche stitch pattern um, in the description field. Now the brioche stitch is just knit over two rows. It's the same two rows front and back that you just keep following. But before you do all that, you do have to you have to do a setup row. So let me show you how to do the setup row. For the setup row, the first stitch you just knit it. Then you do a yarn forward or a, or as it's abbreviated in the pattern YF. So bring the yarn forward and then you just slip the next stitch purlwise, which means you insert the needle as if to purl and just bring the stitch over without doing anything. Now you gotta knit the next stitch. Now your yarn is in the front, so you wanna leave the yarn in the front and you wanna insert your needle into the next stitch and knit. As you're doing that, it's like you're doing a yarn over. Okay, so with the yarn in the front, we're just going to knit that next stitch. Okay, and you'll see what's happened here is now we have this sort of pair of stitches that we formed. Um, the one that was the yarn that got yarned over and then um, the stitch that was that was there before it, the one that we slipped. So now we form this, this sort of pair of stitches, which is called a brioche stitch. Okay. And so for the setup row, that's all you're doing. You're doing a yarn forward, you're slipping the next stitch, and then you're knitting the stitch after that with the yarn in the front. And you're just gonna keep doing this, repeating this until you get to the end of the row. And that is the, the first row, the setup row. You'll only do that one time in the project that you're knitting, in this, whether you're making a scarf or a bl blanket, um, you're only going to do this setup row that first time. All right, so there. Once you've done that, if I spread these stitches, you'll see that we essentially have a, a alternating single stitch and then this 
this double stitch, what I what I call the brioche stitch, and then the single stitch, and then the brioche stitch, single, brioche, single, brioche, okay? So that brioche stitch, um, what we'll what we're gonna be doing soon is that is that we're gonna be knitting it. And whenever you knit to that brioche stitch, it's called a brioche knit or a BRK or a bark, hence the bow wow. Um, so let's I'll show you how to do that, but I just wanted you to be familiar with this pattern. After you've done the, the setup row, this is this is what you should see, okay? So now we get into the brioche knit pattern, row one, row two. Row one, you're gonna knit the first stitch. Again, you always knit the first stitch. And now you come to that brioche stitch, those two stitches together. You're just gonna knit those two together. So anytime we knit that brioche stitch, we are doing a brioche knit one or a bark. Okay, so I'm gonna call it barking. So we're gonna bark that stitch. Then the pattern tells you to bring the yarn forward. Then you're gonna slip that next single stitch. Again, slipping it purlwise. And these three things that we just did, the bark, the yarn forward, and the slipping is what you're gonna repeat almost to the end, okay? So now you'll notice that the yarn is still forward because we had brought it forward in the, in, just in the previous step. You wanna leave this yarn forward and you wanna bark those next two stitches. So insert, bark, as in knitting those two stitches together, yarn forward, slip the next stitch. Again, two stitches together. So bark them, yarn forward, and slip that next stitch. Bark, yarn forward, slip that next stitch. And again, we knit those two stitches together, or bark, yarn forward, Slip that next stitch. And now we come to the last three stitches. So we have these two stitches, our brioche stitch, and then we have the single stitch. So we're gonna do the bark, and we're just gonna knit. We're not gonna do the yarn forward here. We're just gonna knit that last stitch, okay? And then you turn your work. And now again, if you stretch the stitches, you'll notice that we pretty much still have that same pattern, except we have it reversed. So we have our very first stitch. We're not gonna count that. The first stitch, essentially, we're always knitting. And so that just provides a nice little border. But you'll notice that again, we have a single stitch and that combination brioche stitch, then single, then brioche, single, brioche, and so on. So in row two, you're again doing the same steps, but the order is a little bit reversed. So the first stitch we're gonna knit. Then we bring the yarn forward and we slip that stitch purlwise. And then with the yarn in the front, we're gonna brioche knit or bark that next, those next two stitches or that brioche stitch. And we're just gonna follow that throughout. So we bring yarn forward, slip, bark. Yarn forward, slip, bark. Okay, and you just keep doing that to the end, or not quite to the end, but until you have two stitches remaining. Now I'm at the last two stitches. I'm going to bring the yarn forward. I'm going to slip it but I don't have a bark here. I just have a single stitch, which I'm gonna go ahead and knit. And that's it. Those are the two rows that you will just keep repeating. So again, if I stretch this, you'll see that I have my single stitch, my very first stitch, which I'm just gonna knit. And row one, I'm gonna bark it, yarn forward, slip this, and then again, bark it, yarn forward, slip this, and you'll just keep following row one and row two back and forth. If you do that for a little bit, I have another sample that I've knit up here um, in a different color, just so that you can see it a little bit better. But if you keep doing that, you'll, you'll come up with something like this. 
with the nice little pearl rose and then the rose in between and again it flips it's identical on either side and by knitting those first stitches you get a nice little garter stitch border on the edges now some patterns will tell you some brioche one color patterns will tell you to slip that first stitch um, knit wise as in instead of knitting this you would just go in here and slip it over as if to knit and that's fine too you can do that as well it pretty much gives the same effect so I just thought it's easier to knit um, the first stitch rather than remembering to slip it and so um, I did it I'm, I'm I've included that in my pattern I do hope you give this this brioche stitch a try and if you have any questions or would like to see um, more videos please subscribe to my channel Nitty Cats Knits oh I actually forgot one more little thing so after you're done, you want to end, if you're making a scarf, um, and I've provided the pattern below to the, the, the variegated scarf that I made, but if, you're, if you've done the, the entire scarf and then you're ready to bind off, you want to end having done a row two. So row, do a row one and a row two and you've ended it. I did want to show you how to cast off. Now it's just a regular cast off that you would do or bind off that you would do, but let me show you how, how to tackle those brioche stitches. So you would knit the first stitch and then you'll come to one of those joined brioche stitches. Just knit them together or bark them. Then you pass the first stitch over. Okay. Then you knit the next one and you pass that first stitch over and that's all you do. So the main thing is when you do come to a bark or, or a brioche stitch, don't knit them separately when you're casting off. Just again, knit them together or bark them and pass it over. So you'll notice that it provides a very nice um, cast off edge, even if you're if you're knitting those two those two together. And the cast off edge will pretty much match your your cast on edge if you follow that technique. So. I forgot I wanted to show you that as well so I do hope you give this a try um, if you like the video and would like to see more videos have ideas please leave me comments or hit the and hit the like button and subscribe to my channel Nitty Cats Knits I wish you all happy knitting